it if you made it to this part of the album listening to track after track after track your angel message is ace of cups rejuvenation you will have the mercy of god and god will give you a long life so stop worrying about it stop worrying about it this is the swear by your sincerity oracle and i'm gonna take a few of these cards here to give you some messages about the person on your mind all right i've been watching your social media i want to protect you from myself i am not ready to open up i am not ready to step out of my comfort zone I don't know what to say to you. More love, my love for you will never change. I do care for you deeply, but I'm scared you want too much. I wish I could be there for you, but I don't feel ready. I know you deserve more than I can give to you at this moment. I wish I could be there for you, but I don't feel ready. I do care for you, but I'm scared you want too much. My love for you will never change. I don't know what to say to you. I am not ready to step out of my comfort zone. I am not ready to open up. I want to protect you from myself. I have been watching your social media. So, this is a little bit negative. I mean, it's good a person can express themselves. Remember, the message to you from the angel is that you have a brand new beginning. You have rejuvenation. You have the mercy of God. Because this person, although they have all of these feelings, they're not, they're not ready, so we shouldn't force them. It doesn't make sense trying to force a man or woman or somebody to have feelings or to extend their self with you when they keep saying i'm not ready i don't know i want to protect you from my own self moving along swiftly soon i'm going to contact you soon emotional intimacy i am afraid to truly open up to you being raw and authentic with my emotions is something that i am still working on let the past go all right can we rewind time and go back to that time before we were broken by life you know our past hold back our future it's simple really how do i feel i want us forever missing you i miss you i wish things were different so let's just kindly and intelligently clarify i don't know what to say to you yeah like let's get into the mind of the person a little bit because sometimes they love you sometimes they don't so it's like sometimes they're afraid maybe they're not good enough or maybe you're not good enough i don't know what to say to you what's clarifying that missed opportunity i didn't act when i should have acted oh i left when things got hard i should have expressed myself better so they, they still don't know what to say to you I don't know what to say to you. I don't know if I will ever change. I feel unclear about where I stand or where we stand. I don't know if we are going to change. So this, this, did you notice what's happening in this part of the reading? Everything they're saying is they don't know, they don't know, they just, they just don't know. So there's a bit of fear and a lot of doubt, uh, a lot of fear and a lot of doubt. In a person here who is quite in love with another person guys right so let's see what they mean by i am not ready to get out of my comfort zone what does that mean according to your spirit guides your ancestors they are not tired they're healing yes and they see you as their soulmate or maybe the comfort zone is the soulmate can you say yes soulmate deep love unity connection releasing purifying so they're not ready to, to release this soulmate yet so maybe you're not maybe they don't see you as a soulmate how do they see you what the hell is this how do they see you broken shattered compatible they want to 
two asks you for forgiveness, no chemistry, no ecstasy, but you're very important to them. Wow. So you're not sleeping with them because they need to apologize to you. So they're not getting no, no spark. But you guys are compatible because incompatibility in reverse. No chasing, no... You are not sleeping with anybody else. They see you are celibate, important, valuable, smart, just not sleeping with them because they need to apologize to you so they rather not heal. So maybe this person has financial issues, guys, because that's what block finances are. Uh, So they have a soulmate that they need to purify themselves from, but they're not tired of the person. And that is their comfort zone. So maybe they don't have to, to be a masculine here or a feminine. Like they don't have to tell the truth, be accountable. They get to be a little demon. They get to bring bad luck. They take the drugs. You know, this person is destroying them. That's why they say I want to protect you from myself. I don't need to clarify this. It's going to say addiction, karmic stuff. So let's just put, put that there. I don't know what to say. I'm not ready to open up because they, they like it where they are, right? So these are things that we have to accept about individuals. Doesn't matter how much you love them, you feel that like you need them or you want them. If they don't want to be with you, the wise thing is to accept that, all right? So let's get a little advice from the Moon Energy Oracle to be with this one because they want to stay away. It's not good. You have to respect that. <laughs> It's not, people don't always want the best thing, guys. People don't always want happiness and peace and abundance. And sometimes people just want to lie down and just get their dick suck. <laughs> no joke. They don't want the rest. Um, go wild, full moon. And it doesn't, this like type of energy, it doesn't heal or it doesn't get better. Or this person doesn't learn the lessons that they need to learn until they're way past their 40s. Sometimes in their fifties and they end up by themselves looking around like at all their friends that heal, at all their friends that did the right thing. And they by themselves in a whole home or in the domino club or stuff like that. It's on page eighty-eight. This is this like a repeat pattern. If we observe um the world around us, we would see how people end up like this. It's just like by staying too young for too long. Wanting to have too many options for too long and then the options fade away. When the options start fading away, it happens very fast. So they don't really notice until they're in it like with old beard and if all their friends have wife and children and, and they're still bouncing around different, different woman house and they don't live nowhere. And wherever they live is dirty and, you know. <laughs> there are times when your best bet is manifesting <clears throat> and in life, there are times when your best bet in manifesting and in life is to throw up all your cards in the air, so to speak, and see where your cards fall. As tempting as it might be to try to control the situation, you'll be better off if you just release and let go. Let things go wild, all right? You will get an answer to your question as soon as you might, as well, as soon as you might. So you might as well enjoy the ride. The unexpected thing is that having fun is one of the most powerful ways of manifesting your desires. Distance yourself from arrogant people. That's the message from your spirit guides and your ancestors who exist for your highest and greatest good in this situation they don't want to heal they love you and that's what it, maybe it's too hard maybe you guys live far away maybe the other person that they're getting involved with just buy a house and they're moving into the house and it maybe they feel like a feminine if it's a masculine or if it's a if it's a feminine maybe the man that they're with making them feel like a feminine i don't know i don't know why would you not want maybe they're under some drugs maybe the woman tie them the man tie them there's so many other things that can contribute to a situation like that why would you not want to heal you're going to be somebody's slave forever you're going to make girls spend money 